Hi, I'm Jeff. In this video, we're going to look at the Groove tool, which is part of FreeCAD's part design workbench. If you'd like to support the channel, you could buy me a coffee through the link in the description below. Now let's look at the Groove tool. The Groove tool allows you to take a sketch and revolve it around an axis. Typically you'd do this around a curved surface, such as a spindle or something like that. So for this demonstration, I am using FreeCAD version 0.19 that was built on the 3rd of August 2020. So to demonstrate this tool, firstly I'm going to create a half cylinder and then create some grooves in it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create the part, body and the main sketch. I'm going to do it in the YZ plane this time. And I'm simply just going to create an arc with a center and two endpoints. And then I'm just going to just draw a line to close the shape and set the radius of the arc to be 75 millimeters. That'd be quite a big arc. We'll fit that to the display and then we'll pad that out and we'll make it 250 millimeters long. Again, fit it to the display. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create some grooves around this end of the cylinder. So I'll just put it back into a isometric view. So to do that, I'm going to create a datum plane because I want to avoid any chance of the topological naming problem coming into play. There is a link in the top right corner to a video explaining the topological naming problem. So I'm going to create a sketch on that datum plane. Oops, that datum plane. Close that for that and reopen it so I can see where we're at. And it has revolved the sketch. So what I'm going to do is actually create the grooves that I want down here. And we're just going to use some slots to do that. It's because it's simple. Sort of make it look like something interesting from a, a turned perspective. Then we will close that and what I'm going to do is now revolve that sketch around the outside of the the half cylinder using the groove tool. You can see the groove tool has several options. You can specify the axis you want it grooved around, the angle that it is grooving so in this case it's 360 degrees, a full circle. You can make it symmetric to the plane and you can also make it reversed. It doesn't really make much difference to make it reversed or symmetric when you've got a 360 degree rotation. But if we were to make it 180 degrees, you'll see that it rotates and grooves the way I expect it to. If we click reverse, it will just basically disappear because it's coming to the front of the half cylinder. If we changed it to be 90 degrees, and you'll see that obviously it's gone 90 degrees there, but if we make it symmetric to the plane as well, it reduces it down to 45 because it's expecting half of the groove to come forward of the plane. Now I've used the vertical sketch axis in this case. If we switch it to the horizontal sketch axis, you'll see that it creates grooves slightly differently. Again, this one's symmetric to the plane, so it's 45 degrees on either side there. If we make it reverse, sorry, if we make it normal, that's that way. If we make it reverse, it comes forward. Uh, sorry, backwards and goes 90 degrees. If 
the base x-axis is effectively the same as the vertical axis y-axis is not used in this case and the z-axis is the same as the horizontal axis so what we'll do is we'll hide the datum plane and switch back to an isometric view I'm going to create another sketch on this face here so I'll create a datum plane first and then create a sketch on it and what I'm going to do is just place a octagon oops that's not what I wanted place an octagon just on one side of it and then we're going to use the groove tool to create a groove just in this face here so that will be the horizontal sketch axis for this one we'll make it 360 degrees you can see that it has created that half circle groove to demonstrate another feature of the groove tool I'm going to create a datum line and then revolve a sketch around that but before I do that, what I'm going to do is take the first groove and just rotate it the whole 180 degrees. Now I will create the datum line. Why is that not doing what I want it to do? Datum line on that groove. And then we'll select the second principal axis. Yes, this is the second principal axis. And then we will make a few changes. But first, I'll switch to wireframe view so we can see this datum line here. We'll try rotating it in Y and Z and we'll offset it a little bit like so get rid of the other datum line which we don't want then what I'm going to do is I will create another sketch on this end face but before I do that I'll switch back to uh, solid mode or as is mode and then we'll create a sketch on it Close that. For some reason it keeps coming up without showing the underlying object. And what we'll do is we'll just simply create a square rectangle on that one. And then what we'll do is we are going to use Groove Tool and we will rotate it around a reference, which in this case will be the datum line. And you can see that it took my rectangle and has rotated at 360 degrees probably get a better view of that if we switch to wireframe mode and you can see that it has come through the front as well through here if we make it 100 if we make it 90 degrees it's only through to the front uh, through the, the side here we reverse it it comes forward and make it symmetric and you'll see it on both sides for the work that I do I don't see the point in grooving a shape internally to a component like this I could see that it might be beneficial if you were doing some 3d printing or something like that but for woodworking it's pretty much impossible to do that because you're working with a solid piece unless you are taking the solid piece cutting it up putting the groove in and then lamin laminating it back together that would work but 
if you're not doing that, just don't see the point in doing it. But that's how a feature of that tool and it does work. And if you can find a woodworking solution or problem that this is the solution for, please let me know in the comments. Well, I hope you found that interesting. If you did, click the like button and subscribe to the channel. Please leave any comments or topic suggestions in the comments below. If you'd like to support the channel, you could buy me a coffee through the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.